Okay, hey Ewans, welcome back to my channel, 20 BLV Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, just this hoe and my people. And um, these mountains, girl, these, okay, these mountains right here, all around. Okay, I don't know if y'all saw much, but anyway, we're heading over to my little girl does not you heard me she does not want to be on no video we're heading over to Asheville um, again so remember I bought some I'm gonna hold it up here because I look so much better up here the tricks <gasps> still uh, anyway <laughs> we're heading over to Asheville because remember I bought all that Stuff from the outlet drop of the Basquiat and Coach Outlet collab and most of it I did not like except for one bag and a bag charm so a pair of sneakers two uh, flip-flops or slides and a bag has to go back and get this um, if you've ever ordered from the outlet you know this that they um, they don't pay postage on the way back now, if you ever return and and I had a lot of stuff so that was gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be like 38 bucks for one and then I had another package so I think it was gonna be around 70 bucks to ship that back and I was like oh hell no we will just drive over there because we live you know we just live about an hour away um, I'm over here like <laughs> Uh, so that's what is going on today. Maybe I'll vlog in there. I'm not buying anything at all uh, because this return is opening up some funds so I can buy another bag that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so, and it's from actually Coach, not the outlet, but anyway, I hope I'm going to get that bag and then show you all that back but any anyway anyway all this stuff's got to go back and I'll vlog inside the store and then I have a coach unboxing from the actual coach store it's a tiny tiny bag that I bought and I love because y'all know I love me some tiny bags I'm gonna unbox that finally uh, back in the purse room when this video and vlog is done but so anyway we're heading to Asheville I'll show you the store and then I'll do my unboxing okay bye
Becoming that woman who cannot operate her own phone, it's like they add so many features and things to make the phones better, but what they're really doing is they're just aging 50 plus women out of the technology game because I, of course, I walked around the coach outlet and I literally took like the whole store. I showed everything and all the things that I thought were cute. I picked up some things, showed the. I got to the end of where I started. Like I got to where I started. Okay, turn it off. I realized, nope, she's not. And there was a line of people and the girl standing at the door letting people in. She was kind of looking at me like, seriously, lady, you're not going to buy anything, but you're going to record the whole. <sighs> so that's why there's very little footage of the coach outlet, which is fine. You guys know what, what they have. Basically, everything they have is just online. Um, anyway, I wanted to, ah, big thing though. Um, remember the little um, peanuts? The little tiny crossbody peanuts bag that I had and when I took it out the strap out of the inside that was curled up they had it rolled it was damaged it had a like a permanent crease in it two ways like this um, I could not stand that I did not want that and so I took it with me when I returned um, my you know collab what the heck, Basquiat collab, when I returned those items that I didn't want. I was going to sell them, but then I think everybody had that idea. So there's tons and tons of resale going on with that. So I was just like, let's just get a refund. There's a coach item that I really want. So let's get my money back and try to get it. So, um, yeah, I took that little thing back and showed the woman. She's like, oh, yeah, that's not right. What do you want to do? And I was like, well, do you have another one? She was like, no, we don't. She looked at me like I was crazy. She was like, no ma'am, we don't. I was like, okay, store credit it is. So anyway, I have something in mind to buy. Um, you can use it at Coach or Coach Outlet. So I'm pretty happy about getting that money back, even though I wanted the item. I don't know. Maybe I'll find it pretty cheap on Prelove somewhere. Doubtful. But anyway, I couldn't live with it, girl. It was a bridge too far. Um, anyhow, I got this little tiny bag. I got this weeks and weeks ago, right after I did the Rogue the next week. Of course, Autumn sent me the picture of this, and I was like, yep, she's got to have it. So I called uh, Weiwei, and she boxed this up and sent it to me. I had to pay for it, of course. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Um, but yeah, she wraps everything up so nicely for me. Oh, too cute. Look at that. She does give, whoops, gift wrap everything. I would have shown you, but everything's in the floor now. Um, so I got the little ribbon. It's got the little card. You know, standard fair girls. Ugh, I'm so busy today. I've been doing so many things. Um, the little magnetic box. What? So cute. She does a good job at wrapping up the stuff, honey. And it's got its little T90 <laughs> from the word go. Like everything is a yes. It's a yes, girl. So here we go. Tiny bag. Ooh, it's shoved in there. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, I love it. I've only seen pictures. I did not see it up close yet. So, oh yeah, girl. Can you guys see it? I'll have to move up closer so you guys can look at it too, but ah, they 
wrap it so well. I don't know. I, I bitch and moan about, no, wrapping it, then too much. Like, it's never good enough for me. I'm always like, oh, that stinks. Like, when is it ever enough? Why am I that beach? Okay, let's see. OMG, it's so friggin' goat. So it's got a little snap right here. I get. I assume the real bag. I don't know. I've not seen the real. Isn't this the swinger, right? Swinger? I know a couple of those. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I think this is a tiny swinger bag. Okay, if I'm wrong, I will post what it really is. But they make this actual bag. Look how friggin' cute. Now, Weiwei said... You're not going to get cards and stuff in there. I'm only going to get like a chapstick, maybe a lippy. Um, maybe I'll get my key fob in there, but this one she won't. She can't. She's not going to do it. But it's got a little tiny... Ooh, ooh it hurts to try to snap it, girl. Ooh, that's what she said. Okay, it did snap. But it's got a little thing that holds your little zipper secure, which I think is totally cute. It's probably really good on the actual bag, but how adorable is this? Now, this is just a bag charm. There's no way, maybe, <laughs> that I could crossbody this. So, I actually need a quilted bag to put this on. I need this little swinger bag. I keep calling it the swinger. Let's hope it is. I'm crazy. Oh, I see what I was doing. I was on the wrong side. This is a tiny, tiny little mock turn lock. Turn lock. A turn lock. It's a faux turn lock. Oh, it's so. It's really cute, guys. It's really cute. Let me come up there and give it the autumn shuffle and turn. So here she is. And everybody says this in all her glory. Um, but man. So, can you see the little, how cute is that? And it, it snaps in there. And, and I was trying to snap it on the turn lock thing. And now I can't get it. Okay. But it's a little mock turn lock. Mock turn lock. Yes. I love, I love this little bag charm. It is super cute. The little handle's stationary. It stays there. Didn't have the stamping. Usually they say the glove tan stamping thing on them. But this one's a little tiny. Oh, I think this is so adorable. Do you believe that stuffing came out of there? What? It's got like a netting, kind of a mesh inside. Now, I don't know what the real bag looks like, so I'm assuming everything's like that on the actual bag. I just don't know. Mommy has no clue, but I think this is adorable. I love the multi-colored look. Starting with the brown here and going up to the creamy color, that ox blood or red, dark burgundy. Oh man, it is so cute. But yeah, I'm only going to specifically use this as a bag charm because, I mean, it's crazy. It's a little too Lizzo for me. <laughs> and if I say it's too small, girl, she's too small. Love. So, I hope you enjoyed the um, unboxing and the little tiny bit that I got to record in the Coach Outlet. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully next time my kids will be with me. My kids didn't go in because it was, it was literally one person comes out, one person can go in. Um, and and when, you, when I got in there, there was only like five people in there. But the girl, the manager said, oh, we're short staff today. So, you know, we just can't let everybody. And I was thinking... Okay. Whatever. But anyway, um, next time I'll have someone with me who can actually make a phone function properly. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And I will see you back here on Thursday, girl. Um, I have a mother of a collab again. Me, Autumn, and Yota back again. Same usual suspects. Same time. Same channel. Actually, three different channels, but you get it all on YouTube. I hope you guys um, will consider subscribing. If you aren't already, hit the like button, comment down below, and check us out on Thursday. And also, girl, listen, if y'all see my husband, ooh, don't tell him nothing.
nothing. Bye. So when I unboxed this the other day, I don't know why I didn't come up with this song in my head, but do you know the perfect song for this one? It's Diamond Girl. You sure do shine. I'm glad I found you. I'm glad you're mine. I mean, perfect, right? Like, I don't even remember what song. What did I sing? I'll make love to you or something? I don't even remember. But that is the perfect song for this bag. I can't think of everything. There's so much stuff up here, guys. Um. Anyway, yeah. That's her new name. We were going to call her uh, Donna Summer, me and my gal pal, because, you know, it looks like a disco ball and makes us think of disco and Donna Summer. But now I think I'm just going to call her Diamond Girl. Yes. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs>